reconnect. It's been a long time coming, but I'm here, I'm back in the kitchen, and I'm ready to cook it up. Come on, let's go. Today, we'll be making pork chops and carrots with ginger, pear, and rosemary sauce. You'll need these ingredients. Let's go. Okay, so off camera, I washed my meat. Okay, I'm team wash your food, so make sure that I make it nice and clean, washed it up into a small bowl. We're gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of cornstarch. This is to tenderize the meat. In this bowl, we have our seasonings. Here's the thing, make it your own. I say that every single time, and so I'm gonna continue saying it. Making your own, I'm adding garlic, I'm adding adobo, I'm adding onion powder and I'm adding my soy sauce okay so make it your own we're gonna add all of that to a small bowl and then we're gonna go from there here we go one All right, in a pan, we're gonna add a little oil and turn on our stove. We wanna get it nice and hot and make sure that the oil is coated all over the pan. Once it's nice and hot, place your pork chops right into the pan. Make sure your oil is hot, that is very essential. We wanna brown these pork chops, okay? Once there is a nice sear on the pork chops, flip them over so the other side can brown. Now we want to take them off the flame so that it can rest while we start our sauce. Using the same pan, we're going to add our canned peach juice right to the flame and we're gonna try to get all those nooks and crannies right off the pan okay and then we're gonna add our um, vegetable or chicken broth right to the pan okay we want to get all of that goodness right off the pan and into our broth that's gonna help our sauce then we're gonna add our freshly grated ginger and our rosemary, here we go, Ooh, and a little bit of cinnamon, okay? Add that right in there. Then add our pepper flakes. We want everything to be infused right into our sauce, and we wanna get that going right away, okay? Here, I'm adding a little bit more rosemary. I do like the taste of rosemary, and give it a good stir. Make sure everything's incorporated. 
okay all right and now we're gonna add our apple cider vinegar with a little bit of maple syrup mix that around give it a good stir and add more liquid if you need as you can see here i did that um put in your carrots put in your onions and we're gonna put in our pear from the our can in there incorporate it nicely get it stirred up this is the time that your sauce is coming together this is what it's all about i promise you it's gonna be wonderful and then after this we're just waiting for the reduction so we're trying to get as much um, of the water out once your sauce has redu reduced to a good amount um add your pork chops right back in there and we're gonna baste them with the gravy or with the sauce it's going to be phenomenal i promise you you're gonna love it and off camera i added a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up for myself i like a thick sauce but if you don't want to add that that's up to you all right so this is what it looks like it's gorgeous all right so everything is finished it looks phenomenal oh my goodness we have our pork chops with our pear ginger rosemary dressing with our carrots and green beans and a little bit of cornbread i took the liberty of making the cornbread even the brown rice off camera because i mean come on who can't have sides with such a beautiful dish let's try it together Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a little bit of this rice with this gravy. Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay, wait. Let me get this pork chop. Tender. Look how that cut just so easily. Mmm. The Lord is good, and His mercy endures forever. You guys, this dish so good. I can see you making this any day of the week, okay? Not just for family gatherings, but when you want something nice and tasty and savory, this is your go-to meal. It has sweet notes. It has spiciness. It has tenderness. It's moist. It comes together collectively, and I promise you, you're gonna love it. Well, that's all the time I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this meal and cooking with me here in the kitchen. I look forward to making many memories with you. This go around, Arrow's Kitchen Show is gonna do some things a little different. Every episode, we're gonna try to bring you something new. And so I hope that you stay tuned and that we're able to just make more memories and more delightful food together, all right? See you next time, bye.